What is going on guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are doing our first Civic install in Florida and I'm excited. Today we are installing something that this car needs and it is this. And yes, they are bumper tabs because my bumper's falling off and it's held on by duct tape right now. So far being in Florida, the duct tape has completely like glued itself on and baked itself on. And I found the best way to remove all the residue is by using acetone or nail polish remover. And this is 100% acetone. And I did the other side already, came out perfectly mint. So we're gonna try this side real quick and we're gonna get it done. It's starting to rain, but Florida House has this carport, so it doesn't rain in here, which is beautiful. But I know this thing does leak if it starts raining really hard, so hopefully it doesn't rain too hard, but it's still sunny out. So it's like sun showering right now, so hopefully we're still good. The piece of advice here is if you're gonna duct tape your uh, your bumper onto your car, make sure you don't do it for that long and make sure you don't leave it in the Florida sun where it just bakes on all the residue because um, this is annoying to get off. It's coming off slowly but surely, but it's not the most fun process in the world. Now all the kids that were awkwardly watching me vlog over here are all inside because of the rain. This is great. <laughs> it's funny because I'm still getting used to Florida and how it operates around here. And the one thing that's interesting is you get a mix of like people from up north and down south. Like the people from down south that you can tell are from here because they're all really nice and they, everyone wants to talk to you. But at the same time, people have that northern attitude here, which is like, don't talk to me, they just stare at you. So like, it's a mix between people wanting to talk to me all the time and people just staring at me. And I don't know how I feel about that. Now I am just winging this of how this is actually gonna be going on. So I have a jack stand underneath the car that's kind of lifting up the uh, bumper into place. And I'm gonna put a piece of tape down and I guess put two of these on with a band and stretch it and then mark it on a piece of tape and then drill there. So I think that's the move. First impression, a lot looser than I thought they were gonna be. Um, I did the uh, a good old triple, triple, triple thing there. So that's pretty much as tight as I can get it. And still dangles quite a bit. So I think I'm gonna have to fix these tabs or get a new bumper again regardless. But it looks better than duct tape on there, I think. And it should hold. Hopefully it works out. Now, is my bumper still falling off? Y yeah, a little bit, but it's better looking than tape. And honestly, this might not be a, my bumper tab fell off again. This might not be a bad thing. Maybe a little flex in your bumper where the tabs usually go is a good thing. I don't know. I don't build cars. This I do. Hopefully this holds and it, I think it does look better than the duct tape. The car looks a little bit less um, rickety now, if, if you will. I wish I had lights out here so I could film my edit, but I might have to film my edit tomorrow when I get off work or something. But. I'm going to drive it tomorrow before I do that edit. So I guess I can give you guys like a review at the end of this too to see if they actually hold. I did the old triple, triple dipple there as you guys saw. And um, well, we'll see how it goes. I might want to actually get more so it's more secure and tighter because I didn't know how tight to go with these. I've never used these things before. It's my first time. So I'll catch you guys in the morning for when I do the edit. Thank you. 
So honestly, after the install of how I thought it was kind of loose and driving with it, I'm actually pretty impressed of how they came out because the bumper stayed exactly where it should be. It didn't move at all. And honestly, I think it looks kind of cool. It definitely looks better than having duct tape on there. So I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 on this one. And again, these were another like six, $7 product from Amazon. They say they're metal. They don't really feel too metally. They do feel a little bit plasticky, but it might also be the coating on there that makes it feel like that. I might be doing more of these in the future. I might want to double up on the front just to make it a little bit more secure. The back looks like it needs it too, but there's a Bondo jump on here that I'm a little bit scared about, or I might have to redo that. Might gotta do some body work on this car, which kind of scares me, but the bumper fitment on this car, if I can, let me, let me. This isn't very good fitment right here, and this tab is breaking, and it's coming through the metal, and this rust is pretty bad, so I might have to attempt some of my own rust repair here. It's, I've never done that before, so we might we might gotta do that. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our first Florida mod here at the Florida Florida Housey House. And honestly, it was pretty good to actually do something with the car here that was like modifying. And we're making the car look a little bit cleaner at a time. I got some ideas that might be cheap that I think would be kind of cool that I want to do here in the future. But until then, guys, I'm gonna leave you guys off here. So guys, comment, like, subscribe. Keep doing the fun stuff. Keep doing you. Stay motivated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and peace.